I think that the Queen's Family Medicine program is an excellent choice for international medical grads. I felt um, equivalent to the Canadian medical graduates. Um, it wasn't um, overwhelming to fit into the community um, and that's again partly because of the size of the community. If I had gone to a larger location I'd not only be trying to adjust to the program but also to the, the size of the city. I try to welcome IMGs not just as medical colleagues, but as people who are going to live in a city that I really like and, and to make it a place that they can enjoy too. Kings is, is a very beautiful place to live in, so it's just the right size. I find Kingston very walkable and I'm obsessed by the waterfront. I wanted to practice in a community about the size of Kingston, so it was important for me to train um, in this community because I can see myself staying here in the future. There's a wide range of residents, um, younger residents, older residents, residents with families, single residents. And I find that Kingston kind of has a place for everyone. It's also a city that's easily drivable, like you're not stuck in traffic jams, the cost of housing is good, the schools are great for kids. So it's a very livable city. I think people really enjoy coming to the city, seeing all it has to offer and realizing it's also just a wonderful place to live. It happened more than once that I, 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 um, I meet some of my patients in the street or in the grocery store um, and we just say hi and we smile and, um, and maybe that's a small thing but it's actually, um, it's actually very fulfilling and very satisfying in terms of a, um, a doctor-patient relationship. Um, and I don't think you can, you can find that if you, if you do your residency in a big city. I think the other thing about Queens is that it's a nice size. So it's, it's a big enough size that people are going to get lots of opportunities, but it's a small enough size that they're not going to get lost in the woodwork. They're going to be known as individuals. We're going to uh, know who they are. We're going to listen to them. We're going to, we're going to support them through their training. We don't really draw much of a distinction between IMGs and uh, Canadian graduates quite intentionally because I think it would be a problem if we marginalized IMGs or treated them differently. The supports that we put in place I don't think are unique to IMGs. It's just the way we feel like we should treat anybody who's arriving in a city for the first time and who we're going to work with for two years. I definitely feel there's advantages to being an international medical grad at Queen's, specifically in the Family Medicine program, because there are a significant amount of international graduates in the program. Prior to coming here, I didn't realize that there would be so many of us and how um, accepting the program was to international grads. The fact that uh, uh, the staff in Queen's um, uh, make you part of the team and include you in activities and um, um, uh, trust you and trust your judgment, um, that's very, very powerful. I think the IMGs really add a very special element to our program. I think any time where new perspectives on things are brought into the program, broadening our thinking about things, I think that's an invaluable addition to the program. We really value our residents' input into the program, so we seek opinions all the time um, and then very much incorporate what they're, what they're saying to us into the program where we're able to. And, and our IMGs sometimes, just because they have unique life experiences, are able to offer us ideas that we wouldn't have otherwise thought about. I had done um, a lot of my medical school in the Caribbean as well as the United States as well as Canada, so I was bringing those different perspectives um, to the program and then through my colleagues I was able to see their perspectives from their past experiences. If you're a new IMG, I think you couldn't do better than coming here. You could get excellent training at any of the programs in Ontario, there's no question about it. But what you get here that I think you can't get perhaps anywhere else is a place that's small enough to be small and big enough to be big. Small enough for you to be really a part of, a, of everything, to know what's going on, but big enough that you don't feel as if you've gone to the middle of nowhere. Big enough that there's everything you could want here and it's just a good place to live.